All right, guys, so taking some time and doing something a little different today. Uh, today won't be my typical what sold video. I'm going to take some time and show you some, some sourcing that I did over the weekend. And then uh, we'll pop in some of what I picked up, some of the places I went. I weren't able to video as much as I'd like to, but I did get some video down. And hopefully the wind isn't too loud out here. Um, we are on the Outer Banks, so it's always blowing, but you're coming live from my front yard. Um, so we do, uh, thank you guys for watching. Guys, we did want to stop and take a second and thank our mothers. Um, I know without mine. Uh, you know, it is kind of a running joke without them, we wouldn't be here. It's the truth in, in the literal sense. Uh, but I know for a lot of us, it's the truth in the other sense because they've always, my mom has always been a, a great to me, always kind of been the voice of reason in my life. And the, the, you know, the one that always is rooting for me, no matter what go, goes on. So I do thank her today. If she is watching uh, this video, thanks mom. Um, Happy Mother's Day to you and to all the mothers out there. Um, we thank you guys for your love and support. Okay, guys, I know this footage is not very good, but what's going on is uh, I'm at this yard sale. I shot a little close. I have to shoot everything off my phone. But uh, this yard sale I went to, um, I was able to pick up some stuff. You'll see it here behind you. I actually thought that gun was pretty kind of cool, but that weren't for sale. <laughs> but this stuff that's piled up right here, that's my stuff. The rest of the yard sale, these guys had some jewelry set up out there. Um, mostly, mostly this is a hangout yard sale for sure. Uh, people were here just kind of doing that. This is the second sale I went to. Uh, this sale, I put up in these people's yard. They tell me that, that sale's in the backyard. The guy came out. I tried to drop my phone a little bit. There weren't not really nothing there. Picked up one item. This last sale I went to was a state sale. I got a little picture of my finger right there just so that you'd make sure I was there. I was trying to get pictures of the sign. Uh, state sale. When I walked up, this lady was actually crying because it was her father's stuff. So I ended up paying up pretty good here. But this is very cool. Like the stuff that she had. Tons of old military stuff. Uh, these are some Miller light pans. There was uh, a lot of tools and stuff. It was basically out here in this shed. Uh, they had clothing and all kinds of stuff. But this is the coolest thing. I felt like I was on American Picker, 1942 Willie cool, in their garage. And she said they've already sold the 51. So I was stoked when I saw this. And then tons of stuff in here, man. There's This whole thing right here was full of cap guns. Uh, but she said they weren't for sale yet, so I weren't able to do anything with that. Um, I did find this metal detector here. I pulled out this cap gun. It's, the one I had in my hand is actually a Hubley. Um, so a lot of these were old cap guns. Later on, she said that those actually belonged to her dad when uh, when he was still living. The Jeep parts everywhere. Um, tons of tools. My daughter told me she didn't think I could still ride a bike. Uh-oh, uh-oh, coming in hot barely made it up <laughs> all right guys so today we'll be filming a little bit about what i picked up from our sale let so you guys check out our garden real quick <laughs> we got a few things growing but this is what i picked up from the garage sales the first item i have is this cool thing this is heath kit this is from 1969 um, let's see, we got a little screwdriver there on it, on the outside. Picked this up from a state sale. Um, I ended up paying a hundred dollars on all the things I bought from that sale and I'll show you all them together. So you see what it is. So I probably have about maybe 10, $15 in this piece. And this sells for right around 50, 60 bucks. So we will see how that goes. All right guys, so we're, we are checking out what I picked up on this weekend's haul. 
from these garage sales. I've already showed you this first item, this heat kit metal detector. The next item up from that same sale is this cobalt. This is a half inch impact wrench. So that was in that same buy. From that same buy, I also picked up two little Sony radios, FM stereos, AM FM on this one. I've never seen this clear one before. Uh, this actually has the Walkman brand. It does not have the Walkman actual um, headphones, but those came from that buy. This Bearcat scanner, four channel scanner, came from that same buy. This Harley Davidson service manual, 1978 Sportster, came from that same buy. And uh, that might be it from that from that pickup. Yeah, I think that might be it from there. Um, so I actually spent like a hundred bucks there, and it was an estate sale. So I probably have about two hundred two hundred fifty dollars. Well, I would say probably at least two hundred dollars in return there. Um, that service manual and it goes from anywhere from twenty to forty dollars. So um, that scanner right there is thirty-five dollars. That's what it's selling for on eBay. That one's complete, brand new in the box. Those FM stereo systems, I'm not sure exactly what those go. I would imagine about ten bucks a piece. This impact wrench goes from anywhere from a hundred to a hundred and sixty. And then, like I said, I've said this one earlier is about probably 40 to 50 bucks on the, on the maybe even up to $60 on that um, unit there, the heat kit. So next up, I went to a single yard sale and I only found this one help full power 40 channel emergency band radio. So that thing sells for I think I, I comped it out at like $25. So it's in good shape on the inside. It has uh, these, looks like everything's there. Not too bad. It does have a little issue there. You can see the pieces come off the front. But anyway, uh, I only paid $5 for that rig yard sale i actually kind of felt bad those guys didn't look like they had had anybody all day um the next items i have let's see i picked up from another sale this sealed scrabble this is a 130 dollar game it is still sealed the plastic does have a little bit of uh wear on it and then also this ravensburger puzzle this thing is still sealed in the pack. Um, that thing is selling for like 30 bucks right now. So we'll see if that actually works out, pans out. From the thrift store, I picked up everything else in this bag. There are actually four vintage hats here. Some cool ones um, for you hat guys. This first one is the Royal Saudi Naval Forces. Uh, I believe this is from back in Desert Storm era, uh, but it's actually from Saudi Arabia, so that's cool. The next one, um, I'm never good with the Roman numerals, but I think this is Super Bowl 16. Uh, I did look up this hat. It sells for about 15, 20 bucks. This is the Super Bowl when it was San Francisco versus Cincinnati. So if you guys remember when the Bengals made the Super Bowl with Boomer Esiason and Icky Woods, so that's that Super Bowl era. Uh, the next hat is from Desert Storm and it's got actually a tour date there. Um, so not quite sure on this one, what it would sell for. The next item I have is this Fozzie Bear. This is a McDonald's toy from 1988. 1988, uh, it's about a $10, $15 uh, plus there. And 
pair of Turtle Beach. These are gamer headphones. Um, those things are probably maybe about 15 bucks. Like they're in good shape. I actually did plug them in and check them. And then I have from the same thrift store four Epson 288XL inks. Uh, it's basically all three colors and the black. They will sell in total. The black one sells for like 25 bucks. It's still in date. The others are out of date. Uh, they sell anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars a piece. So nice little pickup there. And also have a new era. This is a fitted hat, uh, New York Yankees. So these these usually run about 15 dollars. Um, the puzzle that's in here, I did want to give a shout out to Flippin' Particles. Um, I had actually won this in one of her live shows here recently. So I wanted to include that in the video. And then I also have a DVD combo unit that was in this pickup. Um, it's a Zenith. Nothing super spectacular, but it's still a pretty good one. So all told... Everything that I spent um, today, I ended up spending $137 total, all in. So uh, the rest of those pickups are good. I probably ended up with, I would say, around $500 um, in return on those. Is where it should be if everything sells. Uh, maybe a little more. We'll see, like, depending on what the DVD combo goes for. There's also about five remotes that were with the DVD combo. So I haven't comped all them yet, but that's kind of where we're at. All right, guys, as always, we thank you for watching. We uh, obviously appreciate your support. Uh, once again, happy Mother's Day. If you are not subscribed to the channel, take a second, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, make sure the bells hit. And uh, if you're here just watching, uh, always double check uh, to see if for some reason that subscribe button isn't working. I don't know what's going on with YouTube here lately, but I have people tell me all the time, hey, I was subscribed to you. I don't know what happened. Uh, so double check that if you would. Hit hit the like, uh, share this video if you enjoy it. If you didn't, <laughs> drop me a comment as well and let me know some things I can improve on. I'm always open for um, suggestions for sure. But we do thank you guys for watching. We appreciate your support. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time. Guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you that are subscribed and watching this channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. And we do thank you for watching. We will catch you next time. And I'll let you know on what's going on with the sub count. Thanks, guys.